my beautiful people happy 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 weekend weekend is approaching i'm saying hello to everyone out there yeah thank you you my darling thank you Ame, for coming up please share my videos to so invite friends i just want to discuss a little topic though there was i came across uh, a video today and uh, some of the comments was what triggered me to like let me do this video this evening we are all human we are all ladies this video i'm doing is especially for the ladies to our ladies out there you see so many people don't understand what is called marriage because why so many of them want to be i want to be i want to be a missus the i want to be ladies this video is for i want to be ladies because Fine, people tell you, oh, you are old enough to get married, or your friends are getting married, you want to get married, or I want to be that missus. I want people to call me missus somebody, and you want to get married. I came across a video, a lady who shot off her husband's manhood. You took a life of somebody you never created. You took a life of somebody you never created. And I saw so many comments. Ladies, you were com so many of you were committing. Yes, yeah, the man deserved it. Why was he cheating? What right have you to take somebody's life when you don't even know how to produce a pencil? Pencil, a biro, you don't know how to produce it. Hold on, I'm coming. Give me a minute. Bless you, please. Let me to lock that, okay? So many of you, you don't even know how to create a biro, a pen. That is somebody's son. That is somebody's brother. So how do you want the mother to feel? How do you want the sister, the family to feel? Because your husband is cheating on you. Let me advise you. If you can't deal with it, you are married to a man who cheats on you. If you can't deal with it, Quit. It is not a month. You must be missing somebody. Marriage is not by force. Do you know why things are like this? Then when I know so many people, before they get married, they go for counseling. But nowadays, so many people don't go to counseling no more. Nobody go to counseling no more. Nobody go to counseling no more. Because my mates are getting married. I want to get married. I want people to attend my weddings. I want to be that Mrs. Somebody. I want to wear that wedding gown. I want to put on that. I want to wear that crown. You no, know, the native one. That yes, I got married. You got married. Before you got married to the man, you don't even know him that well. You got married, start seeing different things from him. You couldn't be it. All you need to do was to kill him and take life out of him. So now, woman, how do you now feel? How do you now feel? Now you've taken the life of that young man. How do you feel? And so many ladies out there, you were all happy. The man deserved it. The man. If that man were your brother, would you, you would make that statement? Like he deserved it? Or if he was your son, will you ever make that? And you remember that many of you, 
Many of you will be more, you're going to be a, a mother in law someday. Someday, your children, your sons are going to get married. And how will you feel when somebody out there takes the life of your son? How, how do you feel? No, tell me, how do you feel? You guys are, sometimes I see some comment on Facebook. It baffles me, you know, it shocked me. So now I'm just wondering, like, are these people, are they humans? Do you got feelings? You're talking about love. Do you understand what is called love? Before you get married, and when you go for cancel, you know what's called marriage. Marriage got rules. It's not by force, my dear. There are so many people who got married today, they are no more. They are no enemies. If the children are with the women, with the, with the lady, the man still have the, he still has the right to go to the house to check to see the children to check on the children. They are still best of friends today, but they are not married because there are some certain characters, some certain issues they see in both of them. They can't she can't deal with. She left for her to take the life of that man. She left. She walked away. She took the ball step. Then why didn't you do that, lady? Instead, you. Mahood. The man, well, you shot up him because you are jealous. You can have him. And the lady you shot it for because you shot her because of her. She can have it. So, how do you feel now? Was that the only way to deal with it? And ladies are clapping for you. They are clapping for you. And so, he deserves it. He deserve it. I just pray your brother should be a victim. Or your children, your born children, your children should not be a victim in future. So, how will you feel? How will you feel? How will you feel? Sometimes we lady, we just come on Facebook, you just see some things, you just make some kind of silly comment, and you think, oh, well, you're doing the right thing. It's not a must you commit. There are some things you see on Facebook, just pretend that see if you never saw it. Just take off your eyes off. And instead of you to commit nonsense, and some of you say like you were graduated, you went to school, and you, your thinking, your reasonings, and I don't understand. I don't really understand. I don't know if so many of you went to the school to clap for your mates. I don't know. You don't behave like one, like you, you, you really educated. Like the man deserve it. Do you know what it is? Even when you kill a chicken, how do you feel? When you are killing a chicken, how do you feel? There's a the blood coming out of it. How do you feel? Because of a human, you as a woman, how, how, how? I don't know, how did it come about it? Where did that idea come up? Who does that? Where did that idea come up from? You, 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 you were holding it, you held it, and you shut it off. I don't know, what you were doing, it. what was your spirit telling you? What was your mind? What, were, what was your thinking? What were you thinking? What was your thoughts? And so everybody, they are clapping for you, he deserved it. Why was he cheating? Is it today that you know that men, so many of them, they cheat? Or was it the first time that your husband cheated on you? You just found out he just cheated. Before you got married to him, at least you should know him very well. That my husband is like this. You should know his like, you know his dislike. You should know what he's capable of doing or not. So many of you, you know that. And you still force yourself into that marriage. Then you start crying. No, no, don't cry. I'll be it. If you can't deal with it, take a bold step and walk out. It's not by force. It's not, I want to be. I want to be that missus. I want to be like I'm one of those people that are married. Do you know what our mothers bear? Do you know what our mothers bear? There was a movie that I watched. A girl because the husband was cheating. And she was like, no, 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 no. She took a knife. She wanted to stab the man. She wanted to stab the man. But, you know, I think a visitor just came to the house that day, you know. So they took her off. And, uh, she went to the mother's house and she laid a complaint. And the mother asked her to go back. And the mother told her the story of how the husband, the father, was cheating. Because why? The daughter was already involved. Children were already involved. She has to stay. She has to bear because of the children. And she stayed. And asked her, I will not advise you. Deal with it. Go. Pray for him. Go down on your knees and pray for him. Instead of you taking the life of your husband because he's cheating. We know that so many men, they cheat. But killing him is not the best way. It's not the right way to handle some situation. Taking a life. You, you know your husband cheats. You pray for him. Go down your knees. You pray for him. 
God is a father that listens to his children. And our prayers are always answered. When you as a wife, you pray for your husband. My dear, sorry. If he's a man who misbehaves, who is going out of line, God hears prayer. He listens. God listens. But for you to take an object to wound him or to kill him, I don't support that. I don't support that. That's evil. That's barbaric. That's evil. That's barbaric. Now, how do you feel as a woman? How do you feel now? Now, the man you got married to that, you say, I do at the altar. I do. Yes, I do. I love you. Yes. Think that door's part. How do you feel? He's no more. He's no more by your side. He's not lying on the same bed with you. So, what have you to tell the children when they grow that I, your mother, killed your father? Isn't it? And so many ladies out there are clapping for her and say, so, oh, he deserves it. He has to die. Nobody has the right to take anybody's life. Nobody has the right. It's in the Bible. He that keep by anything shall die by that same thing. If you keep by gun, you die by gun. Nobody has, no, no matter the offense, no matter what anybody do to you, you don't have a right to take somebody's life. I'm not supporting the man. I'm not saying what the man did was right, that the cheating that he's right. No, I'm not supporting that. But there are always a way to deal with some issues. There are always a way. It's just a little advice to all my ladies out there, please. Some of you, you meet your husband is cheating on you. You want to hit him with an object. You hit him, he falls down and die. You go to jail. Or you get killed for it. So what do you have to tell your children when they grow up? That you, the wife, their mother, kill their father. Because those kids might be little right now. But later, they are going to grow up. They are going to ask you, ma'am, where's my dad? So what do you have to tell them? What story do you have to tell them? Even if you lie to them, but someday they are going to find out what happened. They are going to know the story of what happened to their dad. So lady, please, everything is not violence. Violence is not the right way to handle some issues in marriage. That is why counseling is marriage is very, very necessary. It's necessary. Very, very. So many people get married nowadays. They don't go to, they don't go to counseling marriage before getting married. They just rush into the marriage. They just rush into it because my mates are getting married. And people are telling me I'm old enough to get married. Because I want to be missus. I want to belong. I want to wear that wedding gown. I want to dance on that altar. I want people to wear a shoe be and follow me. Don't be, I want to be those ladies. Don't be one of, I want to be. When you don't know the rules and regulations of marriages, when you don't know what is following marriages, you don't have to pump in and rush in. Because you want to belong. You want to be that I want to be. No. I don't advise anybody to take the life of any man. If your husband is cheating on you, my advice now, if you have a husband is cheating on you, take a booster, take a If you can't bear it, if you can't deal with it, walk away. Walk away. The other way to sort it out. Maybe at long run, when you walk away, you know, I believe God will intervene, you know, and settle the issues. It's more better. Not to kill nobody. Not to take the life of a human being that God created. God created. It's not easy. Please, ladies, please, let's be very careful. Violence is marriage. It's not the best way. Even to the men. To the men too. But because it was a lady who did this, that's why I did this video. To the men too. You know, violence is not the right way in a marriage. You said I love you. Where is that love? When you say you love somebody, where is the love? Where is the love? You love someone. You love someone. Where is the love? I love you. Yes, I do. That yes, I do. You said in the altar. Yes, I do. Where is it? Somebody you really love when you say you love somebody. It's, 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 it's somebody that you wouldn't want to see that person tears or that person in pain. That was I understand by love. Nowadays, the love people talk about, I don't really understand it. You love somebody and you want to kill that person. You love somebody you want to hurt that person. That's not love. That's not love. It's not love at all. 
infatuation. You are just imagine. You are imagining I love this person. If you really love somebody, patient, endurance, you can bear. You. There are things you can really take when you really love somebody. There are so many things you can really do. You can really bear in a marriage. You go to the altar. The ring you exchange. Do you know what you said before exchanging that ring? I don't know. So many of you probably you forgot. You forgot. You did not just go to the altar to just he put the ring on your hand and you did too. No. No. Yes, I do. Do you really take this man as your husband? You said yes, you do. And same thing goes to the man. You say yes, you do. Now you go to the house because he cheated and one or two happened. And you killed him. Or he, or he himself killed her. That's not love. That's not love. If you love somebody, you don't want to hurt that person. You don't want to hurt that person. Please, ladies. Please, men, my brothers and sisters. Please. We should learn to deal with some certain issue. In relationship. There's a certain issue. Deal with it. Learn to deal with it. Always put the say, Let's put everything in the hands of God. Let God take control. Let God take control. There are some trauma you will be going through in marriage. Put it in the hands of God. God said, he said he's a listener. He does not stop prayers. When you pray, God is working on your case. He hasn't forgotten you. He hasn't left you. But not for you to take the laws in your hands. Please, I beg of you. That's just my little message this evening. Please, ladies. Please, brothers and sisters. Please, men. Let's learn to love. And ladies, when you are not ready for marriage, don't go into it. Don't go into it. Marriage is not by force. It's not a relationship that leads to marriage. Because you have been dating for a very long time, it's a must. You must get married. I know you, he's violent. And you too, you're violent. Sorry. You, you, there are so many things you can't deal with. Just take a bold step. Walk away. If it's yours, it will come back. Put it in the hands of God. And don't, you don't have a right to take the life of anyone. Please. And so many of you out there who are supporting it, yes, you deserve it. I just pray you shouldn't be a victim. Or your brother should not be a victim. Or your children, your son should not be a victim someday. Please. You shouldn't be happy for the downfall of somebody. Please. That's just my little advice for everyone. Okay. Hope you guys are doing so very great. It's another lovely weekend. I know my friends, a lot of you have been missing me. My fans have not been coming online. Have not been coming online. Have been occupied. But surely, match, I'm going to come online on my business. I miss you all. Don't worry. You'll be seeing me awful very soon. Okay. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Let me play my little music. Okay. Let me play my music. Energy. Thank you 
all for having the time to pop in to watch. I really do appreciate you all. For those of you who commented, thank you very much. For those of you who understand where I'm going, what I'm talking about, for those of you who understand me, thank you very much. And for those of you who don't support what I just said, thank you to you all. But I believe, and I believe you will get some little, 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 little things for what, for this topic I just discussed this evening. Please, 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 when we say we really love, we should really mean, we should mean what we just said. When you say you love, mean it. Love is not a joke. You don't joke with somebody's emotion, somebody's feelings. When you say you love, let it be true and really. Let that love glow. Let it lead. Let it flow. Please, 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 we should have the blood of humans in our hands. Killing violence is not the best way in marriage. Okay? Please, brothers and sisters, please, 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 please. Violence is not the best way. Violence is not the best way. It's not the best way. We should be patient. We should have this endurance. We should have the spirit of calmness in marriage. Especially when the kids are involved. When the kids are involved. Please. Please, 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 please. I wish you all a good night rest. Sleep well. Have a good night, splendid night. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Good night.